Hello everyone, on this video I would like to show you how to sign your own PowerShell scripts when you're working in a production environment. It's very important to only run signed scripts when you are in production because you do not want nasty scripts coming from the internet to uh, infect your computers or the network or worse your colleagues and uh, that will give you a lot of headache and uh, you definitely don't want that. But you still want to the benefit of having scripts to automate tasks on your environment but you do need to sign them for, to do that so how do we do that well i have here an example i have here um, a script i've created to backup files i'm just open up here so this is the script and you see there's a, a no signature on it if i try to run it it's going to fail because the execution policy is set to all sign so only sign scripts you're going to run on this machine so let's uh, change it for a second let's set it to unrestricted so that's going to run our scripts and if I run again and it runs successfully and as you can see I get a nice backup of a folder I've created here all right great let's just set the execution again to our sign and let's create a certificate so let's run PowerShell as an administrator I'm just going to increase this a little bit over here we want to change directories to the cert driver and that's the driver that holds all the certificates on our computer next we're going to go to the current user and as you can see we have a list of folders here they are holding specific certificates specifics for the certification authority the root we're only interested in mine which is uh, the current user so let's change the directory and if we just check what's inside here are some certificates that are um, have already been installed on my machine but how do we make our own certificate well to make your own certificate you're going to type in the following command new self sign certificate you want to type in subject and that's the uh, information that's going to be inside the certificate email that can be something random per se cn for name call it Blake Cakes next we're gonna go to the uh, text extension and that is uh, the format that uh, we're gonna type that's gonna hold the core values of the certificate I'm just copying here um, the code I have previously written I'm gonna link into the description um, a documentation from Microsoft that talks about the translation of these codes so this is an object and uh, these codes here or these numbers will translate to uh, specific values for your certification this one says is an enhanced key usage and the next say is a, is a code signing and that's what we want a certification to do code signing next flag we're going to type in is a key algorithm And that's the type of encryption we want to use for our keys or for our certification then we want to put key length 2048 and i like to use a flag here as well for friendly name which is just a, a good way to identify your keys and last we have not after which specifies the expiration of the certification by default it's set to one year but we want to change that or I want to change that I like to put it 10 years and that should be all you need to make your key so if you check now your key has been successfully created if you see a different number on the video it's because I've had to go back and change the not after so if I try again and see we have a certificate now so we're just uh, gonna get children here so as you can see my certificate is um, here now and as you can see we have created a certificate now that we have created the certificate we do have to trust it but where is the certificate located so I'm gonna show you if you open the ape data so I'm just gonna open my temp directory here I'm gonna move into uh, ape data and I'm gonna go to roaming next you want to find Microsoft 
and then system certificates and then we're going to see my certificates and as you can see here the same term print so that's the certificate you're looking at to install it I would say we just copy here and uh, it's gonna make an environmental this is not necessary but it's just something that I've been willing to do for uh, some time so we just want to make an environmental variable here just so we don't have to type in and I'm just gonna insert what that's gonna allow you to do is next time you just have to type in search here so I'm just gonna close this one now and this is gonna open all right it's great now let's go back to installing the certificate so what you do want to do is open the control panel I'm gonna search for certificates manage user certificate and here you're going to make sure you select trust to rule certificate authority certificates and go to actions all tasks import is asking for the path so let's open our environmental variable so let's go back to our path and I'm just gonna copy the path here click browse paste on the top and as you can see it does not show but that's because you do have to select all files at the moment it's only looking for uh, x509 certificates but when you select all files you're gonna see it and just make sure that's the certificate you want so as you can see here that's the last one fa966 fa966 so that's the one and just click open next if you don't see trusted root certificate authorities just click browse and make sure that is selected click next finish it's gonna ask you for your shirt to install it yes I'm sure that's what I want click yes great successfully you installed it fantastic now that you created the certificate and installed the certificate on your computer you do need to sign your script with it so that's the final step so we don't need this for now just minimize it minimize everything minimize close this so here is the script we had earlier so uh, let's just try to run it again and as you can see it's not signed to sign it we're gonna type in the following command you can either do this from um, the ISC or you can also do it from the PowerShell I'll do it from here you want to change directory to the search directory again and as you can see I'm already here but if you're not just go to the current user mine and make sure you are on the right folder first we're gonna make a variable called search and you wanna give it its value as of the path of your certificate and because I'm already inside the folder I only have to uh, copy and paste uh, the file name and that's gonna be this name over here you can just copy that and I'm gonna make paste it so that's gonna make a variable called search you can double check to see if it's gonna work and that is uh, if you type this command and if you get this message it's a good chance it's gonna work now all that's left for us to do is to sign this script with our certificate so let's do it I'm gonna quickly show you again as you can see um, there's nothing here on the script to sign the script we're gonna go to set authentication signature certificate and then you're gonna give a file path for this certificate that you're trying to sign and I believe it needs to be a, a literal file path so you need the full path for the file and that should be all you need to do I press enter see my script one was not found and of course I've missed spell something so it's seat users now it's gonna work <laughs> so you press enter so as you can see your certificate has been used into your script and it's now signed so if you open the file here again you can see it's now signed 
now I'm gonna try to run my script I'm gonna try to run um, firstly from here and as you can see I get a different message now saying if I want to trust Blake's that random that con well I would uh, not trust it <laughs> but because I know I wrote it myself uh, I would I would trust it we're probably gonna be running the scripts from here so if you run the PowerShell and it's asking if you want to run it once always run I'm gonna click up always run because we trust Blake and as you can see the script is not run and uh, that was successfully and that's how you sign your PowerShell scripts I just want to show you another uh, options here so if you go to internet options you can also see your certificates from here so go to content certificates and as you can see Blake Cakes is now trusted by our computer and uh, he's totally valid totally not suspicious <laughs> and now you can go to your production environment and that's how you sign your scripts.